You bet your ass it's good. What are we making? All right, we're gonna do some barbecue shrimp today. What is that? Traditionally, barbecue shrimp are not done on the grill. We want to barbecue shrimp. To give you the quickie is, it is, is peel on shrimp. Okay. Cook down in butter, herbs, spices, rosemary, a lot of butter, white wine, some Worcestershire sauce, whoosh, um, and rosemary and garlic and onion. And you cook it down, super buttery, uh -huh. super saucy. You dredge big pieces of French bread through it. And you okay. It Why do you call it barbecue? No idea. All right, cool. It's one of That's those the New Orleans I don't understand it. I've never understood it. We could probably research it and figure it out. Okay. But it's, we're not going to. It's irrelevant. But I'm we're going to try to make, make a quick lunch here, right? Yep. Quick right. lunch. So instead of the whole shrimp, we're going to use these dudes. Yep. Right? So I'm just peeled and deveined just some shrimp. We do right. kind of a quicker version. A lot of times you'd use like whole rosemary sprigs. Okay. Whole rosemary, you just let it sit in there and get all yummy in the sauce. And, uh, but I, I, I kind of minced it all up. Cool. But we're gonna go kind of quick. Actual cook time on this is probably not gonna be any more than 10, 15 minutes. Cool. Um, and we've got kids, this is like a regular day here. This is not a fancy day. Fancy day, this is our this kids is, driving us crazy all day. Dude. Which is exactly what everybody's doing yeah. with. So notice I'm just starting with a tiny bit of butter. Okay. I never started with a tiny bit of butter. Good high heat, can you see my flame there? Yeah. Wait, I don't want it. What's up, bud? I'm gonna start a 40 minute time for you. Alright, we'll see you later. Alright, this is just sliced up onion. I mean, sliced up garlic and some diced onion. I'm gonna get that rolling. We're gonna leave the heat up kind of high. And this stage right here will be the lengthiest stage. Okay. <laughs> After this, it goes really quick. I think we meant it. We're making tacos, I think. So, sorry. Yeah. The reason we're doing these shrimp is Aaron was like, hey, let's do barbecue shrimp, but tacos. we're gonna do tacos. So he's gonna tell you barbecue shrimp and then he's gonna, he's gonna make something there for you. So we're gonna make a slaw uh, for the shrimp taco. I love seafood tacos like out in California oh, yeah. and stuff, where oh, yeah. you always have like a slaw on them and it's usually yeah. sour cream and mayonnaise and chipotle and you know, lime juice and stuff like that. Um, but we're gonna do, we're gonna make a slaw and stick around this barbecue shrimp kind of thing, and we're gonna make it with the Ibac 2 signature aioli. Yes. Which is, you know. You tried it for the first time a couple yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, it's incredible. So, you know, olive oil, egg yolks, Ibac 2, garlic. Uh, In uh, this case, we did, we do either crystal hot sauce, chipotle Tabasco, or in this case, we did sambo elite. Nice. Some chili paste. Love it. Yeah. So, I'm gonna dump about a cup. I just got a pre shredded bag of slaw, yep. and that's okay. Yeah, because we're okay. making lunch for people. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not on the food network. Going in there. And then, I like to make my slaw really creamy. Yep. I don't like to be scared So about what's it. comical about this is he's gonna have, Some lime. he's adding acid, vinegar, or just lime juice. Just lime, yeah. Uh, if you did just aioli, I guess some people get into that. Yeah. But though Christy does, Aioli plus vinegar. He's doing aioli plus lime juice. And, and some uh, Tabasco Chipotle. Yep. Same principle. You basically thin it out, making turning it into a a slaw sauce. Pretty good. Yeah. And you get a little bit like crossover Mexican Chipotle in there with some of this. And we got corn tortillas here. So it. I don't want to call it fusion. I don't really like that word. But it's all it's okay to just fuck around with stuff. Exactly. That's what I think. I like to make traditional tacos. I made Al Pastor tacos a couple weeks ago. Yep. They're awesome. Um, so I like to stay traditional, but, but I, think also, it, I just think it's fun to not. So you're getting pretty brown here. Yeah, I'm gonna let that get brown. Notice, and we, we, we're gonna keep doing videos for you guys, but for example, if you go to watch the Etouffee video we did, we didn't stir it constantly. Yeah. We shot the shit a good bit, and we let it sit. Give me some out of that too. We let it let it develop that good fond to get the color we want. Yeah. Um, and kind of not be afraid of applying the heat to it, essentially. Letting the heat do its thing. Um, 
So what what are you doing different now that would have been different than a traditional? Right now, if I was in a restaurant, I might have all this little mise en place laid out. This is not that different so far. I might do like shallot, garlic. You're going to see in a minute, we're going to go in, we're going to deglaze with some white wine. In this place, it's just some Chardonnay. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to let that reduce down. And we're going to hit it really hard. We're going to hit it with this rosemary. And we're going to hit it with some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Some whoosh. We're going to hit some whoosh, whoosh. whoosh sauce. And uh, let all that kind of reduce and thicken. Okay. Um, you could even hit it with, like in the restaurant, a lot of times if I'm making like a really good delicious bowl of that, just a really good jus that's uh -huh. nice. We'd hit it with like a shrimp stock. Okay. And let Any, that reduce. They ever do like bacon or anything in it? Oh yeah. Okay. You could totally do bacon in here. Um, nice. It's one of my favorite ways to start it with bacon, but today we're just doing it like this. So once you get the shrimp in, I'm gonna start grilling yeah. tortillas right over our flame, the gas stove here. Yep. If um, you know, if you don't have a gas stove, you can just do it in a pan. Yep. Just fry, you know, just dry fry them up, or you can throw some butter in there. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, so don't be afraid of that. That's good. It's a lot, and it's a lot on purpose because I want one of the reasons you know for using using a real big flat pan. I want all that surface area. Yeah. So it'll reduce quicker. Okay. That's one of the reasons I like a bigger pan than you need. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. Um. All right. So you got the white wine in. Maybe. Maybe. And white wine, we'll let it reduce, hit it with whoosh, let it reduce. It's kind of a whole big thing. A lot of reducing. Cool. It won't take longer. Because once this thing's done, you dump the shrimp in 35, 45 minutes later, it's done. Gotcha. The shrimp. That's a back too. In one of my bowls. I'm going to hit it. Hit it a little more. So you can go to a store somewhere. You can get a get a, a packet of a vaccine of a packet of barbecue shrimp mix. Uh huh. And it's essentially a dry herb and spice mix, very similar to this. Okay. But it's going to have a bunch of rosemary in dry form. Okay. With big sticks of rosemary leaves. And just, they just get hard and they just don't pull out sexy. Gotcha. So this is just fresh rosemary. Rosemary is funny because it'll accidentally grow outside. Accidentally. Oh, I mean, you know, like if you plant it, it's going to be hard to kill it. Yeah. It'll kind of take over sometimes. So fresh rosemary goes a long way. And you can, like, if you're making, my, my parents make a big pan of this. Yeah. They put a bunch of seasoning, a bunch of big sprigs of, of rosemary, butter, white wine, all that. They'll stick it in the oven. Gotcha. This is, like we said, this is sort of the adaptation to turn it into tacos. Cool. I got to start taking. Yeah, we'll get there too. It's funny because you got like any tongs for me? Feels like it's even longer. No, man, you have to do that by hand. Oh. Don't hurt me. I want the best tongs for you. So, I'm probably a third of the way there with okay. the reduction that I want. We go with some whoosh. Nice. Another thing is, notice we're kind of building a little foundation. These things in there. Then it's sort of like raw form, but not that yummy. Okay. And once you start reducing them down, concentrating them, you get that real hard pop. Okay. Look where the flavor comes from. And then you butter that stuff out. Also, when you're doing tortillas that are an open flame, flip them off the quick. You go back and forth, back and forth. That char is where the flavor is, man. Yep, exactly. Beer bead. Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my rosemary. I'm gonna cover on. I got a Lucky Day, a very like a four hundred dollar tortilla one. Right so now this is where it starts smelling like barbecue shrimp to me. Yeah. Especially once we butter this thing out, we got a bunch of rosemary in there. Whoosh, white wine. Love it. It's so good. Yeah. Burn your nose. Yeah. Well, especially that whoosh, like when yeah. it's fresh in there. Which is another reason why you kind of reduce it down and let it mellow a little. Yeah. All right. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to pre season these. Okay. Just because, frankly, it kind of saves me some time, right? So I can get these seasoned up. 
That way I know they're seasoned and they're on point once I add them to my sauce. Just go outside and then wait a few minutes and then it come back good. in. It's insane. Can we bottle this up like in a candle or something? Yeah, I don't know. That, you're going to have to ask that. But what you have to do is put your sauce on, baby. So, check that out. You season them up real quick. It'll make it easier to maintain this. Okay. You know? Yeah. So look, we're reducing a good bit now. So one of the things that we're about to do, if I was making this for like a table service at a restaurant, yeah, you'd want to send it out with a good bit of sauce. Okay. Right? Because people are dipping that bread. Yeah. Okay. And so you add a bunch of butter, you add the butter. We're going to do all that same stuff, but in this case, I don't mind it being a little tighter, like being a little bit less yeah. liquidy. Yeah. Well, we're putting it in the taco. We're putting it in the taco. So that's. That's sort of where that adaptation is coming from. And you know what also might be good? What's we'll do this. Yeah. You treat this like a taco sauce. Oh, yeah. So we'll drizzle we'll a little bit. You take the shrimp out and drizzle a little bit of that on top? Yeah. On top of that flour. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. So what's going to happen here, other reason for letting this get real reduced down, is when I add these shrimp, it's going to add a lot of liquid. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The shrimp are going to add a lot of liquid. Okay. This is just looking ridiculous. Can't wait. Alright. This is what we're gonna do. And what we're gonna do was I'm gonna add these scrimps. Yeah, babe. Oh yeah. Babe. I keep calling you babe, but Oh yeah, babe. <laughs> That's because I got that good food. You can't help it. Get all that good food. So you can see I've just taken the tortillas, throwing them in the liquor day, and then uh, keeping them warm in there. Oh yeah, babe. We're gonna put that lid on there. We're gonna keep all that yummy moisture, all that shrimp. It's gonna like shrimp moisture, shrimp liquid, all that yumminess, the shrimp liquor. Yeah. We we'll put that all low back there. Yeah. We're gonna put a little. Water in or no? You could, but I don't want them to get soggy. Yeah. They're, they're, they're going to be all right. And so what do they serve them with? Like, if you go to Nora, they're in the shell, and you in get the bread, shell, you know, and you get to eat them like that, oh, like yeah. some bread and... You peel them, yeah. you dip your bread in them. It's a big, yummy mess. Okay. So this is like a barbecue shrimp. It's gonna be perfect for those tacos. That's kind of what we're aiming for. Not being too liquidy. Yeah. I'm gonna we'll put that back on there and let that just slowly get right. All right. Another thing we'll do too, like once we taste these, we might add a little pop of whoosh back to them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right now, kind of where I'm at, I'm gonna add sort of like the star of the show. You think the star of the show is the shrimp? Yeah. It's really the butter sauce. I was like, I just saw it. The butter sauce. See? I love grilling tortillas. Holy shit. That's where the magic happens. That's where you get that that pan, that famous barbecue shrimp pan sauce. It's the rosemary and the white wine and the whoosh. And something in the butter. Cream. You can cream this. In fact, it would really, really work well is kind of do a cream reduction before adding your shrimp. Yeah. But notice the liquid that's in here now, and which is why I put the lid on it. Because as these shrimp are cooking, they're releasing all that yumminess. Yeah, they got a lot of water in them. Yep. And I didn't want to lose all of it. I wanted it to create its own sauce. It's almost like a shrimp stock. That's what it is. In real time. It's kind of like that shrimp liquor. That little liquor kind of comes out of there. Little. Like when you use oyster liquor, yeah, you know, in a, in a soup or in a. Mm. I love seafood, man. Yeah, these are. This is what's real funny. It's like a couple of them aren't quite. Yeah, it's like they're real behind. And they'll all sort of coast in together. Yeah, <laughs> coast into the station together. You gotta be. I gotta be a good. My, my, my dad taught me well. When you're done cooking anything, you need to add some real onions to it. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to do two things. I'm going to taste this here. Got it? Mm -hmm. okay. It's in this pan. 
Okay, All right. so scrimp. And then we're gonna add these dudes. Yeah, see that? The green onions, the green onion pop. These are golf shrimp too, right? These are golf shrimp. Yeah. And um, there's a difference. Yeah. <laughs> they smell different. They smell like golf shrimp. Um, we're almost turning the heat off. We're just gonna let it sit there. I got it on all, all the way on low. Um, you don't want your shrimp to overcook. Nobody should be eating overcooked shrimp. It's just ridiculous. We're gonna get a splish of that. A splish? Is that different than a splash? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Splish a little less than a splash. Now you know. <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. Look at these little Putting the last little bit of that butter. All right, so I added a little bit more butter. All right, kind of couldn't help myself. Also, put this whole. Thank you for offering. So you notice the little acidity in there? Yeah. It's real bright. You add a little butter, it takes a little bit of the acidity out. Yeah. Gives a little more richness. So we're kind of balancing that. I don't want them to be too acidic, too but too sort of uh, bright. I guess you want to have that little balance between the buttery, Mommy. the butterness, like butteriness. Yeah, I made a. This is it. Yeah, I made like oh. emerald or somebody's barbecue shrimp one time that had like lemon in it or something. Yeah, it was like really acidic. Too acidic. And like, and right here you can squeeze lemon in this, and it, most people probably would. I just you don't. Here's the deal. You've got white wine in there, your whoosh, you can squeeze some lemon, and we're probably going to squeeze some lemon or lime like on these Lime, tacos, yeah, we got lime. Right? Um, but this is done. That's done? Yeah. Alright, let's, uh, let's plate a couple up. We can plate some up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to reserve to yep. do the reserve sauce the afterwards. Yep. So that we don't make the, the tortilla too soggy. That's good. And um, can I get another, can I get a spoon or, no, nah, yeah, let me get a spoon or a fork for the slaw. Slaw that it makes a mess. Just drip, drip everywhere. There we go. Barbecue shrimp tacos with a uh, IBAC 2 aioli slaw. And some lime oh, yeah. and corn tortillas. It's gonna be badass. Oh my god. Hot. I'm so excited, thank you. How is it? Suck? That's stupid. That looks insane. Come taste this one. Okay, that's what she said. That's hilarious. You want one of these two while you're here? What? Not ridiculous. Mmm. Maybe. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Mmm. I want some spicy of it too. Yeah. Little pop. Little spicy one. Just like a little. Oh. It works. It works. It's good. How's that? This is delicious. Yes. We're writing up the recipe. Really Go on the website. Oh. All right. So that was New Orleans barbecue shrimp. New Orleans barbecue shrimp. Quick lunch. Quick lunch. It took us 20 Tacos, minutes. Tacos, flaw, pork tortillas, perfect. And it's going to feed plenty of people.